Some of you asked me about my camera settings in the DJI FP goggles. You asked for it. Let's do it. Okay, so I'll do my best to explain to you how it works. So let me click on this button. So I'll go to settings, camera. We'll go straight to camera parameters. So the way I set my camera is always do it in manual. Okay, because if you do it in automatic, there are those bunch of options that you won't have access to. ISO, keep them as low as possible, 100 iso is like artificial light the more you increase it the more your image will be overexposed so keep them as low as possible shutter speed as i shoot in 60 fps frame per seconds my shutter speed needs to be the double one out of 120 seconds it's just mathematic there is nothing to think about it depends on the fps you use you just need to double the shutter speed as simple as that the heavy shows you your current exposure position we are in a dark environment so that's why it's minus three saturation i didn't touch that keep it at zero the white balance needs to stay manual this way your colors will not change while you fly and your color temperature has outside the sun temperature is around 5600 kelvin degrees or 5500 kelvin degrees keep it around there it's just going to depend if the weather is cloudy if you're shooting during midday it's just going to depend on all that so let us dive into other camera settings transmission quality is the quality you are going to receive from the quad to your goggles i use it like i defined it at high I never had any problems with it video quality for the purpose of this video i've put it at 1080p in 60 frames per second but usually i use a 4k resolution 4k is better if you need to crop in your image video format mp4 i've removed the grid lines i don't need them center point is off don't need it and let us go now to advanced camera settings i record my videos on the goggles and on the quad you never know what can happen so better safe than sorry auto record on takeoff at the moment you take off with your drone is going to record videos automatically it's a good thing just in case you take off and you forget to press the record button eis is electronic stabilization so it's useful unless you use a third party software to stabilize your videos distortion correction i apply it on the aircraft only so this way in the goggles i have a uh, like a wider field of view i can know what's going on just on each side of the drone might be sometimes convenient when you are going to for example if you need to go uh, between branches it will be like more convenient for you to define if you can go through because you might have prices my image roll connection is off i've selected the h265 codec it appears to work better than the h264 the video files are more compressed but the quality is better so you get a smaller file size and the quality is better so h265 at least if your computer can stand it because some computers are not able to read this codec so if it happens to you there's a like there's a codec you can download from i think microsoft store you might find it on on this website my color profile is in dc like this is a flat profile this is what i use i like and i love color correcting and color grading my video files okay so now we've talked about the theory but now i'm going to show you how it works in real life let's go so i've set my camera settings and this is when my nd filters comes in handy uh if you check my EV value it's at one it means that I'm going to be overexposed so I'm going to apply an ND filter because uh, the way it works is your the camera is going to uh, make an average of um, highlights mid tones and the dark tones it's going to like to create an average to define your exposition and uh, one advice I have for you always expose for highlights so most of the time you are going to fly and you will have different kind of tones you know highlights uh, dark tones and mid tones just make sure highlights are not overexposed so this is what we're going to do if you check at what you see around the window it's dark but we do not care because this is something that you can fix in post-production what we care is the highlights so i'm going to apply the nd filter as my exposition is only plus one i'll just grab the smaller nd filter i have which is nd4 
and you'll see the difference. Let's go. So here we are, I've added the ND4 filter and you can see that your EV is not negative. This is what we want. Okay, so I'll keep it like that and I would advise you to do the same. One question I've been asked very often is when do you know which filter you should use? Then that's the subject of the next video. Cheers.